Hey everyone, this is Max, and today we're going to be unboxing the Cenotone Solar Motion Sensor Light. And this one is a small LED light with a bunch of different features. And I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it right now, but I'll go ahead and review it with, uh, it, and also compare it with the uh, fixture light that they also make and give you guys a full review. But right now I'm just going to unbox it and show you what's inside. All right, so here you can see what it looks like. It's definitely a smaller light made in China. All the certifications as well on this. Uh, we have the basic look of it, and as you can see, it looks pretty similar except for that solar panel. There you go. And on the back, it shows you how to install it, I believe. And uh, that's pretty much all we have. Yeah, solar motion sensor light. So. Let's open this up. All right, so I just wanted to go into a few specifics about this item. First and foremost, Cenotone actually reached out to me for the other light that I will be reviewing and unboxing, and that's a fixture light, which is looks just like this, except it doesn't have a solar panel, and it's a fixture, so it, it connects to your, your own electricity in your home. This one's a lot smaller, and I bought this by myself because I wanted to review it and I thought it would be more on point to this channel. However, I will be doing the other one. This one is much smaller and it uses a 2200 milliampere hour battery and it recharges obviously from solar. And it is IP65 waterproof, so no worries there. And yeah, overall it's uh, just a smaller version of that fixture light, and so it's not going to be as bright, but it still has very similar functionality. Cool. Okay, so, got the little plastic wraps on all of them, and then the rotating light. So here you'll see I'm just looking at the front of the light, and on the bottom of the middle one, you'll see that there's a little circle in white, that's the motion sensor and it has a 120 degree radius. The light actually can go further than that, about 180 degrees on how you set it, but that's the overall radius of the motion sensor. Okay, that's what it looks like, and then here we have the solar panel. Now, I don't know the exact wattage of the solar panel yet, but obviously I'll know uh, later on when we do the testing. And it looks like this part can rotate and it can go up and down. So, um, let's see here. So it looks like it can go this way, but it can't go the other way, as far as I know. So this will be interesting with installation and then making sure that the solar panel gets the right angle towards the sun. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. There you have it. We have the other two things that came with it, the mounting screws and these yellow things, I forget what they're called, but you put those into the wall uh, and then the screws after, I believe. And then the little tiny manual, basically probably just shows you what it does and how to install it. So, very small print, but probably gets the job done. But uh, yeah, stay tuned, check out the re review and the testing video. We'll probably do a comparison as well, so just wanted to unbox it, show you what you get, and how it's packed.